welcome to Sports Talk. I'm your host, Chris Rainer. Friday morning, March 27th. Good Friday. A good Friday it is. Uh, make sure you uh, go to church this Easter. If you have, if you don't go all the time, go to church on Easter. Uh, go hide some eggs this weekend, whatever you do for Easter normally. Um, I have a whole studio full today. Of course, Chris Hollywood, man behind the scenes. My co-host today, Robert Farley. Hey, Chris. What's welcome. happening? And then I have Reagan with us today. What's your last name, Reagan? Davis. Reagan Davis. Christy. Smith. Smith. Is the coach Reagan Davis is a pupil, a student, a mentor, a mm -hmm. protege? Maybe the mentor, she's right. a protege. It's cheerleader. cheerleader. You said Smith, right? Yes, sir. Not you. I'm, th I'm sorry. You're Smith. Um, Davis. 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 Okay. It'll take me a minute to catch up. It's and last but not least, Ashley. Garrett. Ashley Garrett. All right. That's my granddaughter, Chris. Will you explain that whole situation? How did that happen? I so you had kids? They had kids, right? Yeah, pretty much. You have to ask her mom and dad. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, does Grandpa, like, you know, do good things and, like, lead you the right way and everything? He sends me money a lot, which <laughs> I like. Things. That's <laughs> It's the only reason. He puts tires on my cars. Wow. Saying that. <laughs> I just bought our new set of tires for Christmas for a car. I like. I got a third car now, and I don't even drive it. I put gas in it. Um, and he comes it's like country. the loaner. No, it's my car. He that's just pays car. for the stuff I that just, happens. Oh, he just pays for it. I support it. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's what grandpas are supposed to do. No. Right. Yes. You call him that's grandpa, right. papa, grandpa, pee -pee, grandpa. What? Well, not pee pee, pee <laughs> <laughs> I've heard people before. Grandpa. grandpa. Just grandpa. Okay. Just grandpa. All right. She calls me Robert, too. So <laughs> yeah. She's mad at me. Robert? Robert. Grandfather Robert, when you're mad no, at No, just Robert. Okay, just Robert. All right, before we go any further, because I will forget, uh, I want to thank our fine sponsors. Uh, Sports Talk is powered by Barnes Diamond Gallery, National Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Bayshore Animal Hospital, their new location. Is now open. Six three Sabbath and Drive in Swansboro. So congratulations to them. That's been a long time coming. We've been talking about it, and they're finally open at the new locations. So go by and support them. Support all our sponsors, um, including Golden Corral, Bartley Insurance Services, Bill Mercer, Lane Associates Family Dentistry, Humphrey Heating and Air Conditioning, Jones Operative. And Southern Touch Team. Thanks to Helen's Kitchen. Did you get a burger yet besides me? I think I'm the only one that's got burgers. But before you leave, you had a good cheeseburger from Helen's Kitchen. We did burgers today. Um, we do breakfast every other mo Friday morning, but today, every now and then, we just want something different. And he brings us a delicious cheeseburger. Can I get a to go box? Sure. Burger? Sure. Um, Thank you to Helen's Kitchen and Billy Grissom for dropping in here and doing that this morning. Um, our hurricane watch is powered by Downey Seating and Air Jason Humphrey. The boys, do you want to a shout out to Jason and his family. His father passed away, Mr. Tommy, um, one of the oh, wow. um, patriarchs of the area, you know, passed away this week and um, earlier this week. And we want to let them know that we're you know, thinking about them. Jason's a great Humphrey. And we really do appreciate everything yeah, they do I, for his us. His dad, I played a lot of softball with that girl. Really? Yeah. His dad was, yeah, was a good guy. He was. Yeah. He was. You know, he was. I saw it where he posted earlier in the week and I texted him and, and you know, told him we're thinking of him. And tough time for him, but so keep those the um, Humphreys in your, in your prayers. Uh, you can also find on the Sports Talk Podcast at WSB.com and here on uh, also uh, our YouTube channel is Radio. You can follow us on Facebook. Are you going to talk about something else? Or are you going to talk about cheerleading? I want you to do what kind of say that. Not that Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we'll make sure we mention that later too. You know what happened 50 years ago? And over Marquette. That's right. We we beat Marquette for the national title in 1974. Now McGuire never forgave the ACC for that. Isn't that funny? We play him again. Yeah. Now McGuire, I don't think. Later. I think Al McGuire passed away, didn't he? He did. Yeah, yeah but he. Long words. How when he used to do the, um, I kind of got a feeling he never really liked the ACC because of, well, he won a game against the ACC, he won a national championship against Carolina. Does anybody like the ACC beside the ACC? Because we only got no. five teams in. Well, I'm only counting four because a play-in really is not. I like your count. Okay. But so really we're four and oh. Yeah, so we got four teams in the Sweet 16. It's pretty amazing. That's right. Oh, we're, we're here to talk about We're here to leader. talk about cheerleading. <laughs> hey, now, I can tell you a cheerleading story first. Okay, go ahead. All right. Uh, Ashley started when she was five, okay? You started cheerleading. I was five. not five. How old were you? How are I you? was three. Sorry, three and a half. I stand corrected. <laughs> I was three and a half. It's amazing that four-year-olds can even do that kind of stuff. I always told Ashley when first she first started with 
pretty cheerleading was an activity, not a sport. Because there was no ball because involved. Chris, there's no ball. I always said a sport has a ball. Golf has a ball. That's a sport, right? Tennis has yeah. a ball. <laughs> Pool is billiards. Wrestling does not have a ball. Okay, then it's an activity, right? Wrestling? I uh, think that would probably that be not activity? a sport. I always can see the activity. A girl this and another team broke her arm this weekend. So, Chrissy, um, that's her arm. That's did somebody break their arm? Not her team. Yeah. Yeah, not team. our team, but another I, team. They I did see another team, so they did get injuries. We do. So Concussions. cheerleading is a sport. I'll go with that. I, um, April Brown would uh, argue with you about that, too, because um, back in Southwest, they won the state championship, and she still wondered why the banner's not up. So we, we got to get on that. That's right. You better. And to be honest with you, back then, it was not considered, but it is now, and so we, we need to get that up. We need to work on that. As for the High School Athletic Association, they actually have a state championship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't know if when they did it if it was considered... I don't know. We have to choose what I you know of. Um, I want to say, didn't Dixon win a state yes. championship? Dixon did. Dixon well, they did. did. The last recently, two years, yeah. they've won it. Now, you guys are um, Rich Sands High School cheerleaders also. Yes. Rich Sands girls. That's good. Um, getting ready for the senior year next year. Yes. So yes. what are y'all doing in the spring with the high school? Nothing? Not really. You don't cheer for track or no. girls soccer? Or they don't require that? another sport during the spring for cheer. So it's just fall football and then uh, basketball? Yes. Okay, so you got the spring off then? No. Because we have all stars. Oh, okay. Now um, I'm gonna let Christy step in here and tell us about tell us about your dojo. I'm gonna call it that or okay. whatever. What is it called? Is it it's called, called Step Ahead Gymnastics uh -huh. and Jackson All Stars? So but what yeah. would the name of it be like? A dojo for is for like martial arts. What would we call it? just a studio? Studio. Okay, we'll go with studio. that. That sounds good. Tell us about the studio and how long it's been there and where it's at and how people can get involved and all your right. Kids in Jackson All Stars. We've been around for this is going on year. 20 something at Step Ahead Gymnastics for 20 years. Um, we do tryouts every May. It's pretty much a year round sport. We take the month of May off, kind of. We compete get in May at the beginning off. of the year. We two get weeks two off. weeks off, and then we begin again in June. So you only get two weeks off for the whole year? Yeah. Three if we're lucky. hockey season was long. That's got yes. hockey season beat. It well, does. You guys are off this week for spring break. We are all for spring yes. break. Oh, and Christmas break. That's why Christmas we're break. able to have high school students in here on there Friday morning. That's right. Um, but we offer gymnastics at my studio. Um, we do competitive gymnastics, recreation gymnastics, recreation cheerleading, and then our competitive all-star teams where we have 10 competitive teams. Okay. Now, um, guys, just got that we real and Savannah, um, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. Go ahead, Ashley, tell. Um, it was the cheer derby competition. Competition. The cheer derby. That's called the cheer derby competition. We went to it last year. We won. You won last year too. Yes. Yeah, we got yeah, ranked for it last year. So you're two-time national champions. Yes. yes. Wow. Well, tell us all it en encompasses. I mean, do you just show up one day, do your cheer, and you're done, or is it like an all weekend? It's like it a depends all on the comp. comp. Yeah. The comp. Yes, that's the industry term. The comp. The competition. <laughs> the competition. I know what that meant. It all depends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know what it meant. Um, so that was in Savannah. Where was it last year? You guys went. It was in the same place. Savannah. Savannah same kind of got a lock on the comp. Yes. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, what all does it entail? Are there like regionals and all that before, or you just show up in Savannah and start cheering yours out? Well, we go to multiple competitions competitions a year We're like well normally our first competition is always in Myrtle Beach, Beach which is one day it's no, a one day. well one day we compete one day choreography Florida yeah. one day we go for choreography and like we like show the judges our routine and then they have someone come out and like help us do the more choreography points. Yes, yeah, and then the next the day, good. and then the next day we compete and compete against everyone else. Now, do you have any professional cheerleaders down there helping, like NFL cheerleaders or? Well, NFL cheerleading is not the same as All Star cheerleading. It's not. It's more like a dance. Yes. Thing, you know? like it's, it's there are some cheerleaders that like work the competitions. Though. Yes, some of them do, but like NFL cheerleaders are like dancers. 
Hey, Chris, this weekend, four state leaders were there. Really? I saw the picture. Mm-hmm. You said that. Um, was it with your grandson? Yeah, he he went up to him. Well, he was in high cotton, wasn't he? All this he's 11 old. years old. <laughs> Mike, his name's Mikey. He walked up to him and said, hey, Georgia Bulldogs beat y'all in football last year. Ouch. How'd that go? <laughs> they were they, all they laughing. Did, they were laughing because they didn't know. They don't know. They probably don't There's know. They're just out there cheering. Remember, yeah. But he had a, a large time with them hanging out. He <laughs> had to get a picture with them. And yeah, you sent me that picture. We yeah. might include that on our um, – our, our um, thing was we take all the pictures here, everything from the studio. And it was weird. Home. They didn't cheer on Sunday that I saw. I went this weekend, by the way. So, so I, were I was the finals there. on Sunday? Yes. Yes. Cool. And this team here, they're, um, Ashley and Reagan's team is called Senior SWAT. What is that? Like I say, Christy says they have special 10 weapons teams. and tactics. I know what special weapons <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Well, so we're a military base. We were, we were base, watching so SWAT when you guys weren't even thought of yet. <laughs> so all of our teams are named like military. Okay. So we have you know, a SWAT's not military, though, right? It's law enforcement. Uh huh. Got you, didn't I? Well, it's like it like goes hand in hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. Like so, our lower um, team is still on Sunday. I don't know what this means, but they hit zero. Maybe they can explain. <laughs> Lame, they did really score. good, and we had no that deductions. That means that we had no one fall, no legalities. So it's like golf, the lesser the score, the better. Yeah, y- no. 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 The, the lesser, lesser the deductions, deductions is better. So you had zero total or zero? We had zero deductions, but we had a high score. What was your score? 90. I think it was 96. No, I can't remember what the due date total. I want to say we were 95. Okay, like 95. now I'm so confused. Because if you have 96 <laughs> and you start deducting points, then... Three would be within a 96? Well, yeah. every, it's like one day it's 40%, the next day it's 60%. It's so like Russian roulette. Yeah. So deductions make the score go down. Yes. But yes. so you still want the higher score. Yes. Because yes. the way you presented it, it was like zero is great. No, they want to get zero. They, they you you want to get zero deductions. Get zero. That's their but you want thing. a high score. So it's almost like a time type thing, you know, so of course you'll get penalized time if you step over the line or do something like that. Yes. And that's yes. your goal is to get the zero. And we had this weekend, we took six teams. We only took six and four teams won. Well, how did they six. grade the rest of it, though, to make the 96? Off building, stunting, tumbling, choreography, choreography. performance, dance. Yep. Which was favorite part about it? The pyramids? The, the end. Tumbling? <laughs> My ending pose. <laughs> um, no, I like stunts. I like, like stunts because, like, like the very beginning of the routine, like the, the very first beginning. thing we did. But but like, I get like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I get a rush. Really? Like, I get like excited. Like, how I'm going on a roller skate. Huh? How old are you again? Sixteen. So you should get a rush all the time then, because you're so young. Every single time I get on that mat, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Are you a tumbler too? Can Not you do the, the like flip stuff? I can tumble, yes. You know how you'll see like a lot of the you see it before at the high school games. <laughs> There's usually one from each team that squares off and and they tumble. From yeah, the they tumble until yeah, the one wall the to the other. Yeah. yeah. I don't tumble for my high school team. Oh. Why? Because I don't want to get hurt. Oh. And risk. You gotta remember they're myself. doing that on a hardwood floor. Yeah. Cheerleading is on a mat, and I don't know what you call the mat. Spring, spring, spring floor. floor. Yeah, the spring floor. That's it. I'm trying to think of the um. The one from Southwest, she was all conference chili or whatever for the East Central area. Erica Barnes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Her um, champions in motion, they rent our facility. Did so they? we see her. Mm-hmm. Ash was yeah, an all conference cheerleader. Are you yeah. really? Yes. What's the name of the conference? NCAA? No, 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 2A or 3A. They're in the oh, <laughs> I said NCAA. Yeah, Coastal 3A. Is that and the same she's thing? also all, I knew all regional, regional, too. I knew we'll see if she knew. Yeah, all regional. Yeah, she so how do they do regionals? Just by all the schools? It doesn't matter what the class is? You have to try out. And then they nominate you. Yeah. Right? Nominate, then you try out. And she also won most chatty cheerleader. I can believe life. that. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, I bought that one already. And that most was valuable player. And most valuable cheerleader. Cheerleader, MDC. Yeah. Yes. So, you know what the, what the light means? Carolina Hurricanes have scored their first goal. Um, they struggled early this week, so thank God they scored goals. Reagan, Christie, Rich Lance, you're Robert, and, and I'm Ashley. So, we'll be right back with Sports Talk. Why don't we have Rich Lance at the top there? Hey, 
Welcome back to Sports Talk. I'm your host, Chris Rainer. Friday, March 27th. We've got a whole gaggle of cheerleaders in here, in here with us and Robert Harley. I am not a cheerleader. <laughs> um, Christy, you were a cheerleader. I was. We're going to get to that in a minute. Okay. We're going to start with the two the two, the two uh, uh, wee lasses here. Um, Reagan Davis, how mm -hmm. long have you been cheering? This is my fourth year, fifth year at the gym. At the gym, did you do anything before that? I cheered at another gym. So I've been cheering since I was in second grade. So really? Nine years. So do you read all that stuff when you were younger? Yeah. That's cool. Now how about you there? Uh, we talked a little bit with you, actually, Garrett. Um, you've been cheering since you were, what, six months old, I think, right? Yeah. No, so roughly, it feels <laughs> like Yeah, that, roughly, right? yeah. And you both cheered, um, cheered, have cheered at Rich Ends High School. Yes. So you've done, kind of gone up the ranks. Did you do tracks for middle school, too? Yes. What was it like in uh, middle school cheer? Uh, well, we did it one year because COVID happened. Our seventh uh, grade year. We don't call. We don't say that anymore. We call it plague. The plague happened. We don't say COVID and we to go away it wasn't anymore. very. It, good. it wasn't very good. Really? It was no. a very toxic environment. Yes. Toxic. Ooh, there sounds like a story there. <laughs> do we do we dare go that far? I say no. Let's That's just say the coaches were not very good. one of the best. The thoughts and um and the thoughts and words of uh, these two do not reflect the actual sports talk. <laughs> <No, I'm kidding. laughs> um, and you said you got most chatty at uh, the yes, national competition because I just like to talk. I can believe it. Yeah, once you get going. Now, talk. Oh, my tell father is Robert. Bart. Robert wants to talk too. Yeah. Um, do you remember watching him as a referee? Yes, I remember going to all his games. So, did he do any games where you cheered? My freshman year was his last year. Year, I think, and really, yeah. and then of course, we all about the last game. Yeah, we had decent games, mm -hmm. we do the girls between games, back so at least get between games and then and we do the boys game no problems and then we come halftime of the boys game and there's a fight in the stands that spilled into the gym so they cleared the gym out with uh i mean it was like every cop in jacksonville showed up and they cleared out the gym and then they never they were going to finish the game and then they weren't and i had we had like 30 of our friends and family there to watch the game and we had all in the locker room while they cleared the gym out and they never unfortunately they never finished the game they, so they I never thought, got back together and finished they didn't I finish thought they it. played the game but no, they like were people to. were allowed to come and no, it was just like coaches and referees yeah, that, that was the plan and then they were going to play it on Monday to finish because it was the last week of the regular season before decided they had too many issues and they just any more games. I don't think it mattered to the standings either or something. Well, it too, did so. for Jacksonville. They well, needed a couple wins to make the playoffs, yeah. Oh. It affected them, so they ended up, Northside forfeited last few games, so that was actually, you know, my last regular season game. Then, of course, we went to the playoffs. And oh, so it wasn't your last game total? No, no, no. We oh, went to last conference yeah, game. No, we went to um, we went to fourth round state playoffs, Eastern Finals. We did the Eastern Finals uh, suddenly High School. Well, that's great. I'm glad you got another game besides that one. Yeah, you know, exactly. I, I didn't realize that. That's good. Yeah. All right, Christy, it's, it's time for you to, you to shine. Let's talk about your um, your studio, Step Ahead Gymnastics. Where's it located at? Um, on Henderson Drive, across the street from Jacksonville High School, and uh -huh. the shopping center were always. And boys, girls, anybody can come cheer? Anybody can come as soon as they can walk. Yeah, Ashley Reagan's team actually has a one boy on their team. We do. Really? And he's really good. He is. Amazing. Dang it. Damien, that's right. So it's boys and girls. Yeah, they can walk as soon as they can walk. Now, how far do you go in gymnastics? Are they doing we parallel? Go all up, and we do all the way up to level eight. We have this year, which is level ten is the highest, and we have up to level eight. So doing, I mean, I'm on horse, the rings, all that stuff. We don't have boys gymnastics. We do. We integrate our boys with our girls classes. So we don't have a boys team. We have a girls team. Not a lot of boys want to do gymnastics. Yeah. yeah. They're doing parkour and other things like that. What? Parkour. What's that? It's like where you get up there and you run up a like building. Like you jump off and walls and buildings. Yeah. Oh, Spider-Man stuff. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Wow. That is a lot cooler. Yeah. Hey, also at that gym, uh, we've rented it before for a birthday party. Really? Oh, yeah. I had my 10th birthday parties there. I had my 10th birthday party there. What happens during the birthday party? 
part is people just do they flips come and, and they do a gymnastics. We um, run around. Maze. We they run around. Make we forts eat. on the bars. Yep. yep. We used to have um, sleepovers at the gym too. We did walk-ins. So it sounds like a good time. Good it thing is to get into. I love those. Now, how, now let's talk about your walk in the um, in the cheerleading path. You started out. How young were you when you started out? I did gymnastics. I started at age three and did competitive gymnastics all the way until I was in sixth grade, and then I switched. Age three. Yeah. So about what twenty some years ago? Yeah, it's yeah. been a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds and good. And then. Uh, <laughs> You the Southwest area? Were you I a did. Southwest Middle School cheerleader? I too? did. I did. I didn't. I cheered in Southwest Middle and High School, but I played sports too. I did. Okay. Now, what sports did you play? Um, volleyball, basketball, softball, track. How did you have time oh. to cheer? Yeah, who I didn't know you played basketball. Uh -huh. Who was wow. your coaches back then? Coach Merritt, um, Miss Thomas. Sorry, John Merritt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mary Thomas. Mary yes, Thomas. she's still around, haunting around over there. Yeah. I call it. Every I'm time sure you go there, still she's there. there. Yeah. Um, I think she does the driver's ed stuff. She and does. She helps run the front office and she all does. that. Kind of running the show, yeah. She does. Now, I don't see how you had time to cheer with all that going on, though. They you, allowed you, you to do everything. Have, it basically sounds like you girls do a lot of practice and stuff all the time. How would you get work that in? All-Stars. Well, all they didn't have yeah. all Stars when I should have yeah, like practice school. for high school. You get practice in for that while the other You have to school. fit it in. Like when we were doing high school cheer, we yeah, had so. to leave early or come in late. Yeah, we do our practice late at night so they can do their activities at the school and then wow. we practice later at night. So they're pretty much, they go to school, they practice at their schools, then they come to us. Yeah. Yep. And, and then we go home until nine o'clock at night. Yeah. And that's their daily routine. You're busy all the time, then, weren't they you? They are. And then we have you to account right? for yeah, games was. and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh no, the games are. Don't get me started. Some of the basketball games. I mean, especially like you yeah. guys got out lucky with Jacksonville and, and Northside being in that league they're in. On a Tuesday night, it's nuts for them to get back past midnight. That's crazy. And it's just nuts that kind of travel. And yeah. Mm -hmm. then you got to go to school the next day, and I think that's why are. they don't. A lot of the cheerleaders don't go to away games if they're far, right? Oh. Really Sometimes we like if they're really far, then we won't go. Like if it's on like a Tuesday, we won't go. But it also depends if it's like a, not like a rival like school, but like if it's a school, school that we problems. like. Yeah. Yeah. A big game. Yes. All right, now Christy, you uh, was your middle school cheerleading experience better than theirs was? It was. I had a great time in school. Who was your? Did y'all have a, a cheerleading? Miss Phoebus was Ms. our Miss Phoebus. Like, Ms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she was one of my favorite people. She was. Well, when I went to Southwest, Southwest was seventh grade through twelfth. Okay, now. See, I said you would only been like 20 some years. I'm telling my yeah, age. You're huh? telling your age now. Because when did the middle school come? Um, I don't know. No, what year did you graduate from Southwest? 92. Okay, that explains things a little more because, um, yeah, I think it was. Was in the mid, probably when the middle school came, maybe even late nineties. Because used to, I was there too when we first started at Southwest, seventh to twelfth grade. Which is crazy to yeah. think of. Now you guys, I'm sure, have seen some bullying and school things like that yeah, until you're seventh know. grader on a bus with seniors exactly or the senior and back then everybody rode the bus you didn't have 67 cars lined up to pick up kids yes. at the school like you right. i rode by somewhere the other day oh it was dixon um middle school you know the new one back in there hey, man, and that line that is that long road and they're still out on the, on the regular road mm -hmm. everybody picks their kids up yes. now. i thought that's what school buses were for yeah. anyway i digress so um then you go to high school Place. I did. Um, who was your high school teacher or high school? Miss Phoebus coached all the. She cheer. did all the way through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, Leslie Eason came, I think, my senior year. I can't remember. Oh, she married to Bob at that time. Bob. Mm -hmm. They were just dating at that time. And then she, of course, fell in love. That's right. Got married. Uh -huh. And Bob went to North Side, and I forget what she went on up to the. She went to the board and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um. High school cheerleading back then it just seemed a little different. Didn't it, it is, it's I different. Mean, not than as now. Um, hardcore or practice wise. You didn't have the all star stuff you were talking I think, about. Um, there was only me and one other girl that tumbled, like run up at cancer and tucks, things like that. And most of the people couldn't tumble. So, now, now where did you guys get that, pick that up from? Like gymnastics, I was studio gymnastics. Where you? Yeah. Yeah. So back then, gymnastics thing going on. I mean, it wasn't step ahead because you, you found it out. I took in Wilmington. I, my it? dad, and mom, drove me to Wilmington every day. Wow, dedicated. Yes. Good parents. Great parents. <laughs> um, and then um, you didn't just stop at high school, though, did you? I cheered in um, college at UNCW for two years. Really? Mm -hmm. Two years and then had enough. I had enough. Go Seahawks. Go, Go Seahawks. Yeah. I was Seahawk. I'm still concerned because we're a football team. I'm upset I about. It, they'll never. 
have one. I don't think um, they, they have either. this thing that I'll get on email. It'll be like, um, come out and support Seahawk alumni, you know, if, in your area and blah, blah, blah. And you'll have like three responses. And I'm like, if you had a football team, you'd have 3,000 responses, you know? Nobody wants to go to a homecoming soccer game. I know. But look, their basketball games are really good. They are, they are good. good. They're mm-hmm. packed and they're very loud. Good. Their baseball and team's very good. Yeah. We had Coach uh, Randy Hood as the um, our guest about a month ago. We went down there did a live show from UCW. Um, coach Scaff was great when he was there. That's probably who the baseball coach was when you were there because uh-huh. right when I left, Coach Guthrie was leaving. Trying to think who was there. It was Scaff because Guthrie left okay. um, right from my senior year. Okay. My, let me see, my second senior year in 91. I enjoyed my first one so much. You're one I had of those 25 year college guys? Yes, I had a good <laughs> time were, at UCW. Were you with Phil Padgett? Because he, he. No, Phil was right before us. He, he was told me he's one of those five year guys. He was. Yeah. Now, Phil was kind of. I feel for me like I was before you. I graduated in 91. You got down there, what, 92, 93? Yeah, 92. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good time down there, though. Yeah, it's a very good time. Did you go to the beach a lot? I did. Um, see, girls, when you're picking a school, I think about things like that. That's right. There are schools that are called resort schools, and UNCW is one of them because you're 10 minutes from the beach. That's right. Or you can go up in the mountains and get snow and the cold. And no. If you like the snow ski or snowboard. I think Ashley's really considering going to UNCW. That's really? right. Really? I've been getting scholarships from them already. Really? For cheering? For cheer and academic. Okay, that's good. So both of you good students? Yes. yes. Okay. Where do you want to go to school? Um, Coastal Carolina Community <laughs> College. <laughs> that's smart. There that is smart. I want to be, know it. Wrong. I want right. to be a dental hygienist, and that doesn't I really require four yeah. years. It so. sure doesn't. That's right. Wow. She knows, she knows her path. And it's not always the four-year schools. I mean, you know, a lot of times you can get what you need around here, you know. I agree. And um, you were talking about the Nationals last week. How, how does that process start? Is there, are there, you know, tell us again, you know, how you work through that process. Well, the way cheerleading is now, anybody can go to Nationals. A one-day competition, two-day competitions, but now the big thing are called end of the year where you have to get a bid. So you go to these competitions. It could be a one-day or a two-day, and you have to earn a bid to be able to go, which we earned a bid to go to D2 Summit, which is in Orlando, Florida, at ESPN. Um, we go second week in March, Mother's Day weekend. May. We compete. May. May, that's right. May. March is about a bid. So right. nobody goes without a bid. You can't nobody goes without that. a bid. Do they do that based on reputation? They do, and you have a certain score you have to get. Mm -hmm. So um, the senior four SWAT team won a bid. My senior two stealth won a bid. And then we have three youth teams, and they all won a bid to our youth summit, which is in April. They also won bids. So you're going to Florida twice? Three times. Three times. We go to many. It's tough, isn't it? It's very tough. How does does this funny come about? Do you need donations? Things like that. Oh, hey, there's some parents that struggle to donate, and, a lot and of we have some great about fundraisers. We do have a lot of amazing businesses. See, that's where it would be really good to have your name as like a sponsor, like a sports talk show or something, where people could hear about it all the time. Absolutely, wow, that'd be awesome. All right, um, Chris. we're ready for our next break, Hollywood. Sure. All right, let's take our break. We'll come back. We're going to do this day in sports history. You guys, let's see, with your age, you might get one or two of them that actually fit your lifetime, but we'll, we'll tell you about the rest hey, of Hey, Chris, okay? they're a little smarter than they look. Okay. Well, not that. It's just what I'm talking about is that I like you when know, you look at it. There are many of them that have happened since they've been born. <laughs> so um, we'll talk it up when we come back on Sports Talk. So we'll just take reading them. It's Hurricanes Watch Time. They're on Sports Talk. Uh, the Carolina Hurricanes, let's see. Last, since last we talked, they had just beaten the Philadelphia Flyers at home on Thursday night. Uh, they had an away game that Friday night at, at um, Washington against the Washington Capitals. Lost 7-6, to six, Robert. That's a lot of games. In, that's a lot of goals in the that's hockey. That's a lot game. of goals. So much two touchdowns, a touchdown at peak, yeah. That's a lot. Um, I remember it was the Canes were down. They came back, you know, uh, to tie it up. Every time she does that, I cringe. 
that. <laughs> I think mine just did it. Um, came back to tie it, went to overtime, lost in overtime. The Hurricanes really do not stress. You know how overtime works, the penalty shots during the regular season. Because you don't do that during the playoffs. That's why Coach Rod Brenmore does not stress that. Hey, what's the record for a of goals in a game? Do you know what well, that is? I don't know, but we'll have to look that up. Have to look that We're one talking out. about one team. Yeah, one team. Total. Obviously, the All-Star games won't count, but no, um, regular games, I don't know. I'll have to check that That's out. That's a lot of goals, seven. Yeah, Chris seven. Miller's normally out there. In fact, Chris can text that to me and let me know here shortly, probably. Um, Canes followed that up, though, with a Sunday game, which I got to go to. I got to go see the Sunday win uh, against the Toronto Maple Leafs. The only bummer about that game, they did win 2-1, to one, but the bummer was is that David Ayers was not there, the guy that um, was the relief goaltender for him, the guy that was trying to play goalie from the next day and won a game. Um, he normally comes every time they have a game against the Toronto Maple Leafs at Carolina. The, I guess Carolina flies him in. and he's. The, Why was he not there? I don't know. Um, it was not on Bally Sports South. It was on the other thing, like ESPN picked it up, so that had been something to do with well, I think I saw him in Savannah at the cheerleading competition, maybe. <laughs> Miss Savannah? You saw what? No, I, I think I saw him. I'm at the cheerleading competition. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's where he was. Well, maybe he was busy then. <laughs> then, Tuesday night, oh, this pains me to say this, because I have so many, there are so many Penguins fans everywhere, including Jacksonville, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Canes lost 4-1 to to the Penguins there. I said it for all you people that have been goading me on Facebook. Are you happy? Canes lost, so. <laughs> Tough week for the Canes. Um, they're going to get back on it. Uh, they got a game tomorrow night against uh, the Montreal Canadiens. They're on a game. Then let's coming up uh, home wise because I'm going to a game somewhere in there. They'll actually have two home games on the end of the week against um, uh, Boston Bruins and then the Washington Capitals. When do the playoffs are, are they it looks like around? I would guess around April 20th. The last game is an away game against Columbus, the Blue Jackets, on the 16th of April. And I would think they'd give them two or three days off and then probably start the playoffs that, that Saturday week. So the playoffs are really hard. You've been to a playoff game before? How do you pay off tickets? I can't talk about them. Okay, never mind. Then. Sorry. <laughs> no, we have. Um, I split season tickets with a couple of guys, so I'll have a fourth of the tickets. So I get one out of every four playoff games. So how do you divide that out? Because you know you don't know have many games they're going to have playoff games. That's true. They, they have at least what two home games, right? That's true. But um, <laughs> some of the theories we started working on, and this is, is brilliant, is sell some of the early rounds because. Save the losing game. Do you really want to be there? So you sell those and hope to get to the later rounds. You know, when, and save your money for those because it goes up exponentially. It gets more and more expensive. Ashley went to her, her first uh, hockey game a couple Sundays ago. Really? So much fun. Yes. And they I just like the two. fighting. Did you go to? Dude? I know. I've been before that. Oh, I, I love Kane's game. Yes. Great atmosphere. Have you been to a playoff game? Any of y'all besides? Robert. Uh, a whole different dynamic. They put this um, towel on the back of your chair, and I don't know what it is about putting a towel on his chair that it just makes the play. I just like to watch them fight. It's was there a lot of fights? There was only like one fight that broke out, but it was good. Was it a good one? They were like rolling on the ground. I remember that was you were telling me that they had. That was the game where they won. Seven to two. There was a lot of goals. They scored a touchdown, and there was a fight. So everything at a And the fight was right in front of our seats. Yep. So really? we had a great look at it. Did you get your picture with Stormy, the ice hog? No. Did you see him anywhere? No. The pig that got that goes around? No. Okay. You do that next time. That's something to look forward to. Okay. All right. Let's transition. Thank you, to, by the way, to Jason Humphrey once again. Shout out to Jason Humphrey. We appreciate all you do. We're thinking of you guys this week. Thank you, Jason Humphrey and Downey Heating and Air for the um, Hurricanes report. And did I go that long on that? Wow. All right. We're going to take a break. Yeah, let's take a break. Cause Chains have scored again. And then when we come back. We're going to be in sports history starting in 1929, a long time ago. We'll be right back. And before she gets off, she needs to talk about the tryouts for next season. And welcome back to Sports Talk. I'm your host, Chris Rayner, co-host Robert Farley today with us. Thank you, Robert, for being with us. Hey, glad to be here. It's beautiful March 27th, Good Friday, a very good day. Um, of course, Easter's coming up this weekend. Spend time with your family and do the Easter things you normally do. Our guests today are Christy Smith. Hello. 
I think you're in charge of some of these two here, aren't you? You're kind of running the show. She has no control over them. I'm just <laughs> telling you, it's like straight up. Yes, yeah, she does. Okay. And how many cheerleaders do you have at the gym? I know you have 10 teams, but how many kids is that? I have 125 competitive cheerleaders, and then I have 500 rec and competitive gymnastics. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine that, Chris? I can't because I stopped by there one day to um, see her about another transaction with Southwest High School. Very good sponsor, Southwest, and we appreciate you doing that. So I was there one day to, you know, get her check and everything, and oh my God, it was all I could do to stay for two minutes. It was a mad out. Just kids running all around there. It's just little kids running around. It's like Chuck E. Cheese on steroids. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Except there's no pizza. a lot more people. Yeah, no pizza, no terrible band, you know. uh, No animatronics. There's actually a song that one day I like to play. It's called Chuck E. Cheese. The, you know, the bad place. Anyway, but we'll, we'll get to that another day. Our cheerleaders today, Reagan Davis, thank you for being with us. Thank Live you for cat. having me. Do the sound effects. No. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett, your Wildcat too? Yes. Um, no, no, thank cats. you. I don't. Hey, you know, they have beat Southwest in football two years in a row, and I attribute yeah. it to our cheerleaders. Just let you know, Chris. I appreciate he you bought bringing us that up. Covenelli's. We really do appreciate <laughs> He bought us ice cream. That we've lost two years in a row to Richmond. Actually, I haven't beat him in like four years because of the plague. Took away two years. Two years worth of games. Well, our freshman year, we didn't beat no one in We were 0 and 8, eight. <laughs> the whole season. 0 oh. and 8. We lost to Dixon we by one point. We beat no one. A double negative. Mm-hmm. We didn't yeah, beat say, anyone. We didn't beat no one there. That's a triple negative. Okay, negative. this is okay. break. I'm not in school right now. I don't need to go listen. <laughs> don't tell you to not end us nice, with actually. a preposition or anything. Huh? What did yeah, yeah. No, I don't yeah, I'm going to get that Wildcat thing here in a minute. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> <You two> stop. <laughs> All right, we've got um so you're done for this year. You won't be when do you get back into it over the summer for the high school? Well, right now we have like um it's called Urban Mats where you can come in and you can like do stuff. But I'm not doing that because I have all search here. Right, so you're getting it from another outlet. Yes. Now there are some girls that just do high school cheerleading. Yes. So they're some just do high school. Like, yeah. yeah. But you guys get it every day at the at the every Monday gym or Wednesday. studio. Gym. Gym. Yeah, it's called the gym. I'm, I'm more comfortable with that then. And um, do you guys do any dance routines also as part of your stuff you do at nationals? I mean, we have a dance in our routine, but, but it's not like. But we don't dance like how you would think like ballerinas. It's or like kind of like. Hip hop dance, yeah. Right, like yeah. kind of like you would see Jay-Lo. NFL cheerleaders. Do I do have Jay-Lo. a question, Christy. Who, who does it? They do a great job. Um, cheer sounds and somebody else. <laughs> I, I doesn't it? Don't you let the seniors pick? Sir, what kind of? We don't make the music though. It's something. No, I'm really saying music, we can so sometimes you have let us pick music, a song. Christy? We're not allowed to varsity requires you to purchase music from certain vendors. Really? I'd love to give it a good music mixer for our Friday night games to kind of amp it up a little. Yeah. Instead of just playing straight out song, you know, get that extra little jab. Yeah. I've been to the cheerleading competitions. Oh, M. Gosh. Um, you get there because they had it at Southwest one year, and we got there. <laughs> We were going to open about nine, you know, and we had, you know, can or um, muffins and you know, cakes and stuff for them for breakfast. No, they wanted nachos at nine in the morning. So all the stuff we bought, like the, you know, the muffins and the blueberry muffins and all that stuff, just went wasted. I mean, we had the cheerleaders. Don't forget the pickles. Yes. No, I can't pickles eat. Pickles. No, I can't no, eat. We days. can't eat all day before. And we just compete. because the competition starts about ten doesn't mean that the primp doesn't begin about eight o'clock. True story. As soon as they get in there, they were in there, everybody getting primped up and ready to go, and it was an all day thing. We could have made. Seven thousand dollars that day if we bought enough. But next time we have it, I'll make sure we have even more. So um, we're going to do this day in sports. We're going to take a little break from cheerleading for a moment and then get back to it because we got some information that we want you to give on some things and where to go and get it all done. But we're going to do this day in sports first. Um, I start and then we'll just go this way around and everybody take a turn. And we're hoping that um, Robert gets nineteen eighty two, but I don't. Th- I don't think he will. All right. If he does, then he's refusing to say it. In 1929, Stanley Cup Final, Madison Square Garden, the Boston Bruins beat the New York Rangers 2-1 for a 2-0 series sweep. What kind of series is a three-game sweep? Anyway, they had a 2-0 series sweep, and it was Boston's first championship. But you guys, you've been to a hockey game we said before. Yes. And you enjoyed it? Yes. All right. Hockey game before? Nope. Okay, you have to go with them next time. I did invite her to our hockey game. I had extra tickets. She went to the beach, didn't she? She got a better off. Yeah, she went to the beach. Wait, did I ask you to go? You did. I just don't remember what I was doing that day. Or I think I said oh, you were with Grace. That answer sounded like oh, it was a yeah. little made up. Oh, yeah. I was at the beach. 
A friend from college came down. Yeah, I beat you there. All right, Ashley, 1940. Wait a minute, first of all, all this stuff happened on March 27th, that was one of these years here. So you get 1940 then. American boxer Joe Lewis KOs Johnny Paycheck in two rounds to retain heavyweight boxing title. I didn't know Johnny Paycheck was a boxer. I just thought he told people to take that job to each other. <laughs> Different Johnny yeah, Paycheck. I didn't know that either. Now, Joe Lewis was the greatest boxer that ever lived. Did you know that? I've never heard of him. Me either. You've never seen the movie Coming to America, obviously, either. No. Okay. What were you doing in 1940, Ashley? I was not alive. She was still okay, a twinkle check. in three generations' eyes. Yeah, that's true. 1958, the hundred. 112th Grand National Arthur Freeman aboard 18 slash half bet Mr. What wins by 30 lengths from Tibeta? I guess that's horse racing. It is. And 18 to 1 odds would have been pretty good. Oh, to 18 win. to 1 odds. Yeah. Okay. That's, I mean, so you bet 100 bucks, you'd win 1,800 bucks. I mean, I know you're on spring break, but you can still do that man in your head, right? Sure. <laughs> Get dagger eyes up here. <laughs> um, how about that horse name, Mr. Watt? Mr. Watt. Mr. Watt. All right. You get Muhammad Ali over there. All right, I Robert. got that one. No, Robert's got that one. No, oh, I, you did that. I'm sorry. You're Christy. good. All right, 1966, Muhammad Ali beats George. How was that? What did he say the last time? Chivalo. 15 for heavyweight boxing title. That's a lot of boxing. That That's sure is. Yeah. 15 rounds. Cool. All right, Reagan. And by the way, are you named after President Reagan? Um, kind of. How are you kind of named after Well, <laughs> I kind of didn't have a name when I was born. And he Wait a minute. Did you no, my mom didn't have any doubt. How long did that go on? Um, well, after I was like born. One or two or three or something? No, 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 no. Yeah. My grandma came into the, like, after I was born, she came to the room, and she's like, well, what's your name? Mom's like, um, I guess Reagan, because I like that president. So, okay. like, it's like, wow. it is, but, like, it wasn't planned out for yeah. it to be that. Uh, I call her Tootsie. That's uh, Ashley's Tootsie. Ritzy Tootsie. 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 That's what That's I call her That's our Life360 name, too. Just be, or glad, just be glad Biden wasn't president at the time. <laughs> he was stuck with that. You be Joe. No, I wouldn't want to read Joe. <laughs> read, read. <laughs> no. no. Read March 27, 1975 for us. 1975, only second time Islanders beat Rangers. Really? You know what sport that is, Greg? That's hockey. Oh, um, oh sorry. Oh, I was going to say it was baseball. <laughs> only the second time they beat them? That doesn't, somehow that doesn't, I don't know. Maybe it was in a series or something. All right. Oh, I get this one. The nice thing here. In 1981, Tina. Is that, either that's a tie. <laughs> Or it's Dina Laetola ski jumps female record of 110. That's you know where they come down and they do the thing. And yeah, remember the classic um, wide world of sports? The what was it called? The agony of defeat, thrill of victory, and agony of defeat. The guy was agony of defeat because halfway down the ramp, he starts tumbling and stuff went everywhere, and he still slung off the end of the ramp. It was pretty bad. I'm gonna oh, let you read. One. I'm gonna let you read 1982. Grandpa. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, yeah. 1982 to 44 NCAA <laughs> men's basketball championship. North Carolina beats Georgetown 62 62. Tar Heels future Hall of Famer small for Jamie, most outstanding player. To this day, I say that game was rigged. To be real. <laughs> because Sleepy Floyd passed the ball to Worthy at the end of the game. So are you saying that... Um, I think somebody paid Sleepy Floyd to throw that game. He, I saw the play. He did like this, and Worthy went out past where the ref was, and he just thought it was... Worthy was so far out of position that he thought it was his player. It had to be his player to be that far over. That's why I say it was rigged. It was rigged. I felt like the Chris Webber called timeout. Was that rig two? That wasn't eighty two. No, that was in that was ninety three. I know, but 93. are you saying that was rig two? Probably. Uh, no, that was just a knucklehead mistake. <laughs> he, made, he made a couple in that game because actually he walked before that. Remember? He did. Yeah. He did. All right, that really pained you to read that, didn't it? It did. Thanks, Ashley. The only thing be better is we get the Carolina fight song playing. I need while my ten dollars back, Ashley. Oh Carolina. no. Mark the sand, the Tar Heel voices. All right, so you got to read the next one then. 1985, Wayne Gretzky breaks a record with 26 assists. Do you know who Wayne Gretzky was? A hockey player. The greatest of all time. The GOAT. He's the GOAT in hockey. Yeah. The GOAT. I should have done that. Um, I had to re revive that list, Hollywood, the list of all the different things where you tell your favorite football movie. Do you guys have a favorite football movie? I would say The Blind Side, but then that's like uh, Yeah, I was going to say that too, but then that whole thing happened. Yeah. So you the think The Blind Side has been blindsided? Yes. 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 Or do you think some of that is made up? I don't know. I mean, I love that movie. I loved it too, but then like I, so I watched the little I thought it's partially of it until true. the book started no, to come out. That's odd it's, to me. It's, it's, it is. I, I agree. It's tarnished now. Right? I, I feel like 
feel like they did it. Uh, well, I think the movie has just like shadow of Ravens. I do, like, but what I'm saying is he didn't complain nothing about all that revenue coming in until he got ready to put a book out. Do they have a re uh, resolution on that? Because I, I haven't heard anything uh, else about it. I didn't either. I was called the court on uh, Yes, but you need to revive that. I know Inquiring that minds. Yes, and it asks things like, like, who would you think the GOAT is in, in basketball? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Did you ever see Michael Jordan play? No, but I know he On went TV. to school in North, North Carolina. That's an awesome yeah, he went right to school in North Carolina. Yeah, right. Hogard, right? That's right. Laney. Laney. Laney, yeah. All right, so she got she skipped Chris, him. Her, so it's you, Chris. 1987 PGA Tournament Player Championship TP, TPC at Sawgrass. Sandy Lau of Scotland defeats Jeff Sluman of the third hole of a sudden death playoff to become the first international player to win the title. Interesting. It took all these years for him to become the first international. <laughs> um, all right, uh, Reagan. 1989, first Soviet hockey players are permitted to play for the NHL. It's cool shit that Reagan got a Soviet question. Because, you know, Ronald Reagan was the one that brought down the Iron Curtain. Yeah, oh. that's cool. Yeah. It's right. all because I Men skipped me and went to Robert for 1982. That didn't affect when it got That didn't hurt. affect when it got It didn't? Hurt. No. Still not doing the math. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm on spring break. <laughs> spring break. <laughs> spring break. All right, 1992, ladies, figure game championship in Oakland, California, won by Christy Yamaguchi yep. from the United States. Love that her. just. But um, she's been here for years, and yeah, she was awesome. Um, she was. Now you may remember back, probably not, but you might have seen it. Dorothy Hamill, mm -hmm. something like that, or seen you know reruns of it and stuff. Because yeah, she was one of the first great Americans I, that I remember. I did. Me too. Yamaguchi, she, she was pretty awesome. She was. All right, who wanted the Dallas question? Was there somebody that actually wanted I that? I did. One? I thought that was a good one. I remember that in you 1994. We'll Jimmy one. Johnson quits Dallas Cowboys. All right, who was Why did he quit? Let's skip around. Why did he quit? Yeah. I don't know. Because his knucklehead best friend from college was running the team in the ground. Jerry Jones. <laughs> uh, Jerry Jones, that's right. Jimmy Johnson, Jerry Jones, they both played football together at Arkansas, right? For the Arkansas Razorbacks. Uh. College teammates. And then um, Jerry Jones is a lot like the owner of our Carolina Panthers now. Kind of wants to run everything, but don't know what he's doing. Yeah, need some assistance there. So we'll shoot you, you two, you, you young whippersnappers, finish up the last two. Y'all can pick whichever I'll one do you want to do. I'll do 1997. Okay. 1997. Yeah. <laughs> First game at Turner Field, Atlanta, Braves beat Yanks 2-1 to one exhibition. Now, that's not two the to one they're in now, right? 2-0. What? Did you say two, exhibition? Two to, what did I say? You said 2-1. Two two to one. One. Oh, 2-0, to sorry. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Reading. An exhibition. So, the Braves went from Fulton County Stadium, which was like a demilitarized yeah. zone, to Turner Field, which yeah. was a little better. And now they're in the nice one. Truist Park. Truist Park, which is a little further out. And yeah, it's really nice. Have you been to a game there? Oh, I, yeah, we've been. She, she's been to a game, a game a couple years ago. And uh, they built a, like a little town area with hotels, shops, uh, restaurants. Yeah, and a lot of them are doing that now. And then they Where's built a stadium. Around. Yeah, it's, so you go down there. It's really cool. There's actually a movie theater down there right across the street from really? yep. Truist Park, yeah. Wow. All right, Reagan. You get finished. 1998, 17th NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. Tennessee beats Louisiana Tech 93 to 75. Volunteers three peak, completing undefeated season. 39 toe. So they won the third national championship in a row. I assume Pat Summit was coached in Chattanooga. That that time period. Yeah. Um, the court's named after now. Is the court named after of the boys of the men's court or just the, the ladies? It's court? hers. I, they, do they have separate? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think it's named. A lot of. I think it's Summit Court. You know, I think it's the one that they all play in. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's pretty awesome. 39. Are follow. we boring you? I don't follow. No, okay. I just didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Need some caffeine. Mm. Okay. 39 and 0 season though. <laughs> so that's on this day in sports. March 27th. Season. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> Tell us some more about y'all stuff, where they sign up, tryouts are coming up. So you actually have to try out to get in the gym or? Try out for the competitive the, side like of the, the cheerleading. travel thing. Okay. But as far as our gymnastics program, we're getting ready to start our summer camps and summer classes. We start registration. April the 15th for that. Our tryouts for Dax Small Stars for the new season will be May 15th. So check our Facebook page. has all the information, all of our schedules, prices, and any kind of questions you guys Did you have. give us that website? Website is stepaheadgymnastics.com. And there's a Facebook page too, right? Facebook page. I think 
All Stars. But it's, All Stars. I think it was on the parent page. You have to like request to join that, that link yeah. or something like that. And if you have any questions, you can call us at 910-938-STEP. Anything else? Um, email, anything like that? Or? Email is stepahead at bizdc.r.com. If you have any questions, Stop by, the stop by and see the place. And it's located over there across from Jackson High School. Right? Across from Jackson High School at 1100 Henderson Drive. And if you're familiar with that area at all, the old Kmart Shopping Center. That's right. Um, you're right next door to Substational or a couple doors down, Little Caesars, all that. And, and they have a dollar store. That's right. There's a dollar coming, too. And Ace Hardware, mm -hmm. oh. too. The old Piggly Wiggly. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an Ace Hardware? And, and a dollar, dollar General. general. Yeah. Really, together or? They've split the building in half. That's awesome. Yeah. I've always heard that if um, somebody puts down a big pile of dirt, if you let it sit long enough, a dollar general. I, I will. I agree 100%. It's like you planted with that. it or something. Yes. Yeah. So um, all that's coming over there. You guys are there. People can come drop their kids off, go shop at Ace Hardware, that's Dollar right. General. It's a good thing. It is a great thing. Oh, she wants you to Look lean where? in for a photo. Yeah. So. Um, Anything else you want to add? Any other hurt or um, not hurricane stories? I just saw that in, my, in the text there. Any other cheerleading stories you want to share? Um, y'all, y'all have got to have a funny cheerleading story. I got one with Ashley. Not this Ellis. weekend, um, the other did not good was in our routine. Wait a minute, you said you did not do good. We did it. Well, last championship. Yeah, but on Saturday we didn't do as good. I had two funny. Right. You beat my ankle. <laughs> walking off the floor. Walking off the floor. I'll start saying that's not funny, but yeah, that word is. They're just doing the walking work. Yeah, it's not very funny. To go, and we spent like three hours in an orthopedic place getting her up. We went to a, a peds emergency room. A what? What? He's like, a, he's like crying. I was like, oh my gosh, what did you do? And she was like, oh, I'm like, what was it? It was walking off. I, I like, jumped what? up. We were jumping. I was right by her too. You're I jumped up, landed on my friend Ari's foot, and it said, <laughs> snap. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's hey, on that All that right celebrating. Yep. Um, but she did get a ring. We got rings. But that was the first time a lot of people have seen me cry because I don't cry. And then so, the lady told her to so stop I crying. She was her, the end. I don't cry because of Allie and Amber Bassett. Girls don't cry, yeah. That's, that should be a well, I used to cry a lot. I don't cry because of Ashley Garrett because it scares me at practice. Okay, see, the way I was brought up to cheer Did is... Did bully you in practice? No, but my first year on the team, if I ever I cried... I'm going to tell you this story. So there are these very... Girls like they were older, older than me. Older. This is when I was young. I didn't cry. No. Oh. Okay, obviously they were taller than me, right. but they were older than me. That's why I got clear And bigger. when I was little, I used to cry a lot in the gym. Like, I used to cry a lot. <laughs> and, like, they got real fed up with it one time. Don't cry in gymnastics. And they brought me out to the parking lot. And one of them took their shoe off and started beating me with their shoe. And my mom was just standing there right there, and I was crying. And they this were... Or something. They started being, Why are you crying? You're acting like a little baby. And I was like, I was still crying. My mom was like, Yep, she needed to stop that crying. She sounded like a baby. And I've yeah, cried I'm ever crying. since. Well, that's awesome. And then one time, I was like, No, we were at choreography Actually, camp and Reagan started crying. No, that's not this time. That's not the time. Marissa, Marissa came up to me. She's like, You're not allowed to cry here. Go to the bathroom. And drug me to the bathroom. And maybe sit there. Because if you're going to cry, you're going to go to the bathroom and clean yourself up. Because I don't imagine see it. dealing with 125 girls. <laughs> Well, no, because we I keep them in line. Yeah, because we keep them in line. Oh, I do keep them in line. They need how to be treated like to be how I got treated on a that first on a year. Fifteen passenger van with. We don't ride together. With five times these two. This is why parents take their children to all really? activities. So you know, there's no transport. You don't transport them. No, sir. That would be. Um, we would there be so many. I guess 20 years ago, we rented a 20 passenger van and we took a look and I said never. Again. Now you like your PC trip, yes. Now I just have to deal with adults. So what's on the horizon now? What's coming up for you guys? Um, cheer camp, you said, I think. Our next competition is in Virginia Beach. Virginia right? Beach. When April, is that? First weekend in April. Yeah. And then first weekend in May. Yes. Is Florida. Florida. Mm -hmm. And then we get a week off. And yeah, you want yeah. Two if we're lucky. <laughs> is it um, Labor Day Memorial Weekend? That's our week off. Yeah, so at least they put it on a holiday. So I'll go to the beach that week. Yep. Get your tan ready for to start the competition. Yeah. Yep. They, ha they have an actual cheerleading the banquet formal where they dress up like a prom. Really? Yeah, we do a formal. Mm -hmm. well, where's that at? We do it at 
Abbey Christian Academy, and they are gracious enough to let us do our banquet there every year. Well, that's good. Now, we talked about you could two win the national championship this year. You said you won it last year and got a ring, right? Mm -hmm, sir. How come they didn't do rings this year? I mentioned that earlier, but I don't think we were. Well, they. they say why they. If you win. They got rings to medals or something? Well, if you win your division, like, so we're level four. So we won, like, level four co ed. Okay. But you have all of level four to get rings. Yeah. And we did that oh, last the year. Highest level, yeah. Last I year we weren't. This year we were. So you won, like, a certain part of it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. we won our, like, we. Our division. Our division. Yeah, our division. So there you go. Cheerleading. We're going to call it a sport now, Robert. Yeah, I have to call it a sport. I would say it's a sport. sport. Yeah, come watch it. I and say one of the hardest. I've sports. seen it. Yes, I've seen, those girls work hard. They do. Um, y'all do the pyramids and all that stuff, or more? Yeah. What's yes. the highest? How high can you go in a pyramid, person-wise? What's how many we stories? Can go two. 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 Just two. Two and a half. Can you can pass like, through two and a half, but it has to come back down. It okay. can't stop. And you have to be down. connected. And yeah. the one on the top, do they get like to fall off and get it's caught? It's kind of a pass through. It's like a hit really quick and then come back through. So you put the smallest one on top, probably. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you want to be catching the big girls. It's really amazing to watch how three different stunt groups are almost at the same, like synchronized swimming or something. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how they. So you have do three that. different things going at one time. And, yes. But they all do. And the they're same. all synchronized. Yeah, yes. they're synchronized. It's just and that's, that's just awesome. a lot of hard work and practice by these girls and. Uh, it's good to start young. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> like she flips the hair there. All right, give us your information one more time before we hit our sponsor. All right, Step Ahead Gymnastics, located at 1100 Henderson Drive in the shopping center where Ollie's and Altitude, Altitude Trampoline Park. And tryouts for um, clean is going to be May 15th, and then we start our summer um, registration for our summer gymnastics camps and classes um, April the 15th. And so if they think that their um, child is going to want to cheer in high school, get them started early. They do. This is where they recruit a lot of time for colleges look at all-star programs now. See how they've done through that, not just that they've you yeah, know, it's done just in high school. Yeah, competitive so. side. They need to see That's it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you are you know that because you're a UNCW cheerleader. I do. And we've got how. several that cheer at college, yeah. several colleges. Um, we had a girl from Osmond County, a, a buddy of mine. It was his daughter, Alyssa Sima. Yeah. was a top cat. Yeah. You know, um, with the Carolina Panthers. Uh, and that's not moment. competitive cheerleading, Chris. That's the dance team. Yep. I've seen the top cats. But guess what? Okay. They were my girls. They were that's, But that's what I'm saying. Them. She did all that uh -huh. coming up through that. Yep. Now, obviously, when you get to the professional level, it's going to change from what the college Hey, stuff Chris, you should put up a banner. they got a ton of banners in there. And I, don't want, I don't know if they have room for another one, but list all the girls that came through your program that do college or professional cheerleading. We do have a bunch. Do you have to go back a long way and add them sure up? And we had um, a lot. A lot. Alyssa, she was one of our all our cheerleaders, yeah. and she danced with us competitively. Yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, anything else you guys, guys want to add before we go? No, thank you. Yeah, guys ready to go for, beach, having, for having us. Yeah. Ready to go to the beach, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Ready to go Enjoy to that Texas spring break. Us. All right, once again, Sports Talk is powered by Barnes Diamond Gallery, National Dodge, Chrysler Jeep Ram, Bayshore, and Mahasaba, their new location. Now open at 623 Sabaston Drive. They're in Swansboro. Golden Corral, Bartley Insurance Services, Bill Mercer, Lane Associates Family Dentistry. Humphrey Heating and Air Conditioning, Jones Onzo EMC, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, and Southern Touch Painting. I should let you guys do the sponsors. Y'all could have really zinged it up, couldn't you? Like do some cheers for them and stuff. Okay, Y'all do a back handspring down the hallway for them? No, for them. no, no. We'll do that one It's my week off. I can't, I can't tumble this week. Come on. Also, Helen's Kitchen, those delicious cheeseburgers. I'm the only one that's jumped in them so far. Y'all are going to have to finish them up because they were good. Um, the Hurricane Watch, sponsored by Downey's Heating and Air. Um, you can find On Demand Sports Talk podcasts at WSME971.com. We're on Facebook and YouTube. Wave to the world, y'all. The world. We are worldwide now. YouTube at WSME Radio. And that's it for Sports Talk this week. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the NCAA tournament. Um, so far, the only team that's played is Carolina. They won, moved on to the um, Elite. Eight uh, Wolfpack plays tonight, right? We play tonight at seven o'clock, and our women's team made it. Do you realize Duke and uh, NC State are the only two ACC schools that both men and women made the? I didn't Sweet realize 16. that. There was four team, four schools that made uh, both tournament Sweet Sixteens: Duke, NC State, Gonzaga, and I'm not sure who the third was, but it wasn't Tar Heels, by the way. Okay, just like, you know. I figured you'd let me know. Uh, and it's, um, it's awesome that the um, actually four teams from the Carolinas are in the in the final Duke and NC State. Oh, uh, 
uh, next round? Elite Eight, yeah. Okay, so I was hoping for a three in the final four. No, this can't happen, but if Duke and State both win the night, then uh, they'll play uh, Sunday, I guess. Yeah, Sunday to, for the right to go to final four. It's going to be awesome. Are your brackets all busted up? Oh, they've been bracketed. I had. I think everybody the had four. the same ones, though, so it's just, it's just a matter of how far you had those teams going. Yeah, Kentucky in the final four, they're, they that that knocked out helped, helped NC State because we didn't have to play that. That's, That's true. Good. But, I mean, took care of Oakland. Probably could have. Um, UCW beat Kentucky this year. Did you see that? Oh, no. Yes. A uh, huge win for the Kentucky. program. At Kentucky. At Kentucky. Oh, you know Kentucky ain't coming to work. John Calipari played at UNCW. Right, he did. He Actually, did for, for a couple he, years. There's two connections there. Um, there's two connections in the Sweet 16. You have um, Keats and uh, Coach Brownlee, both coached at UNCW. Coach who? Uh, Coach Brownlee um, down at – is it Brownlee? What's his name down at Clemson? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Was it Brownlee? Yeah, That's yeah. Brownlee, yeah. yeah. He was coach at Carolina he also. Was. He, I mean, he, um, he was. He was. Yeah, he sure yeah. was. So we're the cradle of coaches. Brad Brownell, that's his Brownell, name. Brownell, not Brown. Brownlee, you're right. Brownlee was – was on the night national championship team for North Carolina. So everybody said the ACC was down this year, but we got four teams in the final 16. That's right. That's Sweet awesome. 16, they call it. And um, the only one coming into the Sweet 16 that was undefeated was the Big East, but they only had three teams in there. Um, technically, if you look at the fact that Virginia was a playing game, the ACC is undefeated 4-0. So that's awesome. All right. Anything else you guys want to add? No. no. Go Wildcats. You want to do that? Jackson All Stars. Go Jackson All Stars. You want to do a real quick cheer before we go? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all the cheers after I quit. Thank y'all for being with us. Next time we'll get them to do the cheer. We'll see you next week on Sports Talk.